So yo and welcome back to AD Charlie Bish and in today's video I do apologize firstly for the upload that I didn't manage to bring out yesterday I've got a really really hectic schedule right now and a lot of personal things going on um, That This is the reason why I didn't get to finish my foot champs games I was 15 and I played a very 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 good players and then I lost two because I was rushing, trying to get rage quits, that sort of stuff. And I thought, you know what? Let's not play 20 games in six hours and force myself to go through the stress because it's not worth it. There's the police going on. But it's like, it weren't worth it. And then I wake up today and I realize that there's been an extension, which is annoying because I wouldn't have played the games yesterday and rather than getting the losses. So now we're just 18 and 2 and I might just play to Elite 3 or something like that. They could potentially not play anything, but I'm going to try probably get Elite 3 just for a little pack opening for you guys. Um, we'll see how it goes and see how much time I have later though because I won't be able to play it now. I need to record and I need to go eat and do a few things before I get down to playing these games. But let me show you what the video is all about. It's the Bundesliga guaranteed SBC. Hopefully we pack something good. They did a lower ratings, which is very good. Um, 82 rating. It made it very, very easy for people to get. And one thing I do want to say, the camera is not on at the moment. Um, I thought it would just be a quick video just to get it out there because obviously my hectic schedule at the moment. Um, so I do apologize for that. Um, and if you're new around here, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and leave comments below what you want me to do for the future. Without further ado, we're not going to waste too much time. This is the team we put in and hopefully Hopefully we pack something crazy, potentially Goretzka, Lewandowski, uh, something like that. That's what, what we want. Let me know in the comments below, actually, what did you lot pack? Uh, I'm always interested to see what everyone else gets rewarded with compared to me. I'm really interested to see what you got. So let me know what you lot got from your Bundesliga team this season player pack. If you did it, um, I'm pretty sure everyone would do it just because it's so much lower ratings. Um, and I do apologize if you can hear any computer noise in the background. So let's jump into it. Let's hope. Let's pray. Come on. Here we go. Bomb. Bundesliga team of the season player. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Something big, please. Italian, right wing back. Shao I'm pretty sure it's going to be terrible. Calugari. I mean, the stats look quite good. I'm not even going to lie to you. His stats actually look really good. 88 pace. 85 physical, very good attacking stats. The card don't even look too bad. The only problem I would have with this card is the chemistry. Oh, but he's, he's just from Schalke and Goretzka's from Schalke, so maybe I can get some strong chem there. Hmm, this is a little thing I need to figure out. Maybe we can try to get him into the team. It's going to be hard because obviously he's from the Germany. The Italian, we don't really have any Italian players like that. So hopefully... Hopefully, I'll try to fit him in. But let me just show you a lot of my squad. Um, a lot of people have been asking my squad recently. And this is the squad. This is the team that I'm loving playing with at the moment. Cristiano, we switched to a 4 2 3 1. Play Ronaldo right, attacking mid. Salah left, attacking mid. Hullet attacking mid and grow up front. Patrick Rio and Kante. This, I'm loving this team. And, I, and I, I tweeted about it as well. And. I feel so much of a difference when playing with Prime Patrick Vieira and Prime Hullet and normal Hullet and them kind of cars. And like, like, I could feel a difference when playing with them. Team of the Year Ramos. Team of the Season Ramos. Team of the Year Ramos would be God. So I'm just thinking, like, imagine when I'm playing against these players and I'm dominating and I can feel it, right? Other people have got good teams now. So like lots of people have Hullet now. Lots of people have Patrick Vieira. Lots of people have these different cards. But imagine back in December or back further back then when nobody had these kind of cards and everyone had all the like, for instance, competitive and pros and people that spent money on the games had prime Patrick Vieira, prime Hullet, normal Hullet, normal Patrick Vieira, Ronaldo. You know what I mean? When they had all these cards, Team of the Year Ramos, when Team of the Year came out, it was a joke. So imagine that. I'm telling you now, FIFA's got a large percentage of it is pay to win. I, c I could honestly say that from someone who's tried to play competitively with players like Informane, Normal Kante, and then try to play with no these kind of players now, I can feel a huge difference because back then I was playing against crazy teams and I didn't have that much teams. And obviously, who who can afford just a... If for me, if FIFA isn't in an eSport, it's a money grab. Come spend your money. You can become pro and earn money from playing FIFA. It's like some con thing, like which only like two, three, four people maybe eventually get to do. Because it's all right for them once they sustain that money first time round, because they can just keep investing in it in their teams and keep making it to the top level. Whereas people that want to enter, there's that's a barrier to entry. It's the pay to win. For instance, with Fortnite and games like that, that's trying to become esport. Um, they're not paid. They're, there's no barriers to entry. It's just talent, skill, getting better. The only thing would be PCs and that. But obviously, I don't think you even need a crazy PC to to either uh, play it. But that's the barrier to entry on FIFA is money. Like who can afford to invest money in FIFA to try and make it? 
And we're talking, not talking like 100, 200, we're talking about 500 pounds worth of your money you need to do at least minimum to get a great team, really, unless you've got a crazy pack luck. But that's my team anyway, I just thought I'd show it. Like I said, videos will start coming around more consistent like I've been doing recently, but obviously my schedule's a bit hectic, so bear with me for now. If you're new around here, hit the subscribe button. I really, really appreciate it. I've, I've been loving all the support shown recently, and I do appreciate every single one of you. Um, uh, yeah, so this is Andy Charlie Bitch, learn change and entertain. Hey, hey.